How does candidate Joko Widodo or Jokowi plan to jumpstart the economy, as well as confront problems like traffic and fuel subsidies? Maria Ressa tells us more in this video blog. Machet Bangit, the traffic is bad. It's a phrase you hear a lot in Jakarta. Just two days ago, we were stuck for more than six hours in start and stop traffic like the one you see behind me. It's something you think about that is personally inconvenient, but the traffic has become so bad that it's now an issue of national concern. Part of the problem right now is that traffic in Jakarta alone is estimated to cost 0.6% of Indonesia's GDP. One of the reasons it's so bad is not just because of the infrastructure, the roads and highways, but also because gas is so cheap. A liter of fuel costs about 24 pesos, half what it costs in the Philippines, or about 50 U.S. cents, far cheaper than what it is in the United States. The Indonesian government subsidizes fuel. About 27% of the 2014 budget goes to fuel subsidies. That is more than its entire, all of its capital expenditure, including what it spends on infrastructure. This is one of the biggest challenges for Indonesia's next leader. Transportation and logistics are the big challenge uh, for Indonesia. We all, all the studies show that our lack of competitiveness is because of the infrastructure bottlenecks and the logistics bottlenecks. Traffic. Yeah, <laughs> traffic and just getting, you know, getting people, uh, getting goods uh, yes. to move efficiently and effectively is and and telecommunications even yeah so th these are the big challenges so for for the incoming government the man leading in the presidential quick count joko widodo says he plans to cut subsidies but their political costs so he plans to do it in phases uh, part of the uh, large portions of the subsidy goes to electric uh, generating uh, activities. So, Indonesian's power plan is also using subsidized uh, fuel. Yes. And that is an issue. Yes. And the idea is to convert that okay. into coal base yeah. or gas, uh, gas, uh, natural gas yeah. base instead of using fuel. And that will ease up the subsidy. We still need to retain uh, subsidy to the low-income family. Indonesia's 250 million people, the country with the world's largest Muslim population, is an economic linchpin for Southeast Asia. It's important that the next leader gets its policies right. That leader will be announced officially on July 22. Meantime, don't expect the traffic in Jakarta to get better anytime soon. Maria Ressa, Rappler, Jakarta.